traditional esteem, IAT, is defined as the system of interrelated, interconnected objects that are able to connect and transfer data over a wireless network without human intervention. 5G is one of these that connects to IoT. It is the transfer of mobile data, which is needed for our everyday objects. Cellular standards used to be at 3G, but then as LTE massively increased, 4G came along. But, this is but these were primarily used for smartphones. With high data volume in combination with the number of IoT things, devices, and individual needs regarding IoT networks, it is only possible using the 5G speeds. Now with this picture, it shows the different towers uh, connecting to the different devices such as in schools and smart homes. Or smart homes. So, to answer this previous question, to what extent have people's health been impacted by 5G in the USA since its release in 2018? My solution was people's health could be negatively impacted by 5G since its release in 2018. The two claims that I came up with would be radiation caused by 5G can lead to cancer. Another reason would include electromagnetic fields creating electro created by electronics using 5G can cause the immune system to dysfunction. Now, some limitations for this would be that 5G is a new topic. It's new to the, it's new to the environment, and so there's not a lot of information or research about it. But due to these effects, it's bad enough for us to worry about it. So, possibly carcinogenic to humans. A carcinogen Carcinogen is defined as a substance capable of causing cancer. Now, to me, I don't want to get cancer. But due to these cell phones right here and the towers, they're causing these radiation to come straight to us. The International Agency for Research on Cancer, IR, has classified RF radiation as a possible carcinogenic to humans because it increases the risk of brain tumors, as showed in the image from the cell phone waves and the tower waves affecting the brain. Electromagnetic fields are produced by these 5G towers. 5G has a shorter length, wavelength than 4G, making it, have a, making it have to have more towers in a closer range to each other. This is very dangerous because as waves increase, it, more, it damages more. Now, like a microwave in this, 5G has the same wavelength. Now, on minimal, on minimal hits by these wavelengths, it doesn't deal that much damage. But as the wavelengths increase and the more wavelengths that you absorb, the more damage it causes. Now, these constant bombardments from these, from these close by towers will cause us to become more of like a human popcorn packet inside of a microwave. Some effects that these cause are, are immune dysfunction, but also they can lead to cancer promotion and da damage the environment with wildlife and plants. Here's a video explaining a little bit more. Now here's the thing about 5G. Ionizing radiation, such as some wavelength of UV from the sun, can penetrate the skin. Whereas things like radio waves actually penetrate through the skin without doing any damage at all. 5G wavelengths fall smack in the middle. They only barely penetrate the skin and they don't have the energy required to damage the DNA. Now here's the thing about 5G. Ionizing radiation, such as some wave as 5G is beginning to boom, companies are starting to incorporate it into their devices. The increased speed compared to 4G is necessary for their devices. 
Apple, for example, is expected to release its first 5G compatible iPhones this year. Also, as shown in the picture, Verizon, a cell phone provider, is also increasing their, per their showing of 5G for it increases bandwidth speed. Now, there are positives and benefits to this. The benefits would be that the speed increases, but the negative impacts of these would be that there would be towers all over the place since of the shorter wavelengths. And in close, being in pro closer proximity to each other, they cause the negative impacts stated on the EMF slide. These are my citations. Any questions? Yeah, tell me about your sources. Uh, how reliable and credible were they, and how do you know that they were? So, my, I thought that my sources were pretty credible. For example, uh, the one about the cancer research was done by the American Cancer Society, which is a organization studying about cancer. And so, it was all, and also there were academic journals which are reliable sources okay and if if uh, what advice would you have for somebody that's presenting on on a topic like 5g again in the future so in the future as i stated with the limitations there's not as much information since it's a new it's a new topic 5g and so in the future as as time progresses there will be more time for research which means more information 